they have a viewpoint. I was Shweta with me. She will tell you her second name. But I got to know her right now. And uh, this is continuing the series on women in security. And Shweta has got a lot of qualifications, pretty, uh, pretty great at whatever she is doing. And I will not tell you what she is doing because she is going to tell what she is doing. Okay? So Shweta, all okay, over to you. you. And me going on, that's, a, that's it. I'll ask you a few questions. Okay, right? yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. my full name is Shweta Javla. Okay, so, well you got, yeah. but you got Shweta again, you, you got Shweta only on that year. Yes, only Shweta. And, and, okay, we forgot to say that we are on the sidelines of Ground Zero. Yes, we are. Yes, and yes. Uh, it's a nice... Bright sunny bright day, sunny which is day. quite cool. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Shweta, tell us about yourself, like you are in security. Yes, uh, I have been working in digital forensics now for about 10 years. Forensics? Yes. Wow. That's, forensics. that's very... I would say cutting edge and it's I think the next level after InfoSec, right? Uh, well, it branches off from InfoSec into legal into many other aspects. So yeah. it's possibly the one branch that connects InfoSec to the real world. Mm -hmm. So how many uh, more women do you think are in or have you met who are in forensics? Two, three possibly, not too many. Mm -hmm. Forensics is an area which we don't have too many people in and the gender ratio in that is even less than it is for the information security normally. Well, as we are recording, I only hope that, you know, the voice, there's a lot of background stuff. So I think coming a bit more okay. closer to you. So at least, let's see, hopefully, we yeah, won't have a lot of background. Yeah. And we'll try and, I, I don't have much editing skills, but we'll try and do something I more. don't have any. Yeah, so. cool. <laughs> So, okay, how did you get into forensics? Interest. You just told me your, your history major or what, yes. right? Wow. I did my master's in history yeah. and I was preparing for the civil services until I realized that that's not the field for me. So, uh, I don't fit into rigid structures too easily. Uh -huh. So, forensics came up at that time. I did a few courses and uh, it fit like the perfect glove. Oh, great. So, I've been working in it since then. Okay, so. When you did forensics, it was like purely forensics, the program which you studied, or was it more information security and law? No, and the one that I did was purely forensics. Uh -huh. And uh, from there on, I've branched off into studying more of technology, more of law, uh -huh. and a lot more of forensics. Oh, good. So, so when you sort of did pure forensics, yeah. okay, uh, that was your first foray into the into InfoSec. So, did, so as you sort of finished the program, did you feel adequate? Did you start immediately into like, you know, doing uh, work? Yeah, I was hired by the firm where I studied. So I worked with them for a year and uh, worked on a few cases there. Rushed up my knowledge, got it more practical oriented. Mm -hmm. And since then I've been working. I also do trainings myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I make sure that the trainings are geared more to the practical aspects of the ones. Awesome, awesome. So your trainings are like, uh, forensics means uh, your data analytical skills as well as, you use tools in training? We use a lot of tools, yeah. uh, mostly open source when we are doing trainings, mm -hmm. but in our lab we of course have proprietary commercial tools. When you say we, I am assuming you have, have a team. A no, I've got a firm called okay. SE Cyber Solutions. Wow. Okay. Based in Pune. Okay. And we work out of that. And how many people are on your team? A very small firm. When I say we, I am talking about I, me and myself. All oh, right. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so because you are a professional, so it's like more of what you do yourself. Is, right. that, is that right? Okay. So. So, if uh, you're also starting an organization of women in security, right? Yes, it's called the Association of Women in InfoSec. Uh -huh. I will show you the visiting card. Oh, you have a visiting card too? Yes, yes. We oh, have awesome. official visiting cards. Good. And we've got a website, avisec.org. Uh -huh. So, it's being launched tomorrow. And the primary purpose is to encourage more women to get into InfoSec. Awesome. Okay. So, and, and uh, what would be the sort of, you know, is it going to be membership based? Is it going to be like, are you going to have uh, chapters across the country? So far, we haven't thought that far, mainly because we don't have enough women to have a former chapter in even one city. Okay. So, when we do get the uh, heads, then possibly. But so far, it's going to be an online community and mm. we will meet at conferences like this. Possibly, you open more people to come with us for the conferences. Come on, girls. you... Info, India Watch Viewpoint can give you three women in three different places right now. Perfect. So Delhi, yes, there's, we, if you go and check our 
I was saying there is a Delhi interview, mm. then there are two ladies we interviewed from Bangalore right. and uh, Kochi. Right. So, so yes, we've got women in uh, Bangalore, Bombay, Delhi, Calcutta, Chennai, Bangalore, Good. Kuchin and Pune. That's a lot of places. That's yeah. a lot of places. But the problem is we've got two women, three women, four women from so, each of these places. But made the tribe increase. Yes, exactly. So once yeah. the tribe increases, we'll have chapters. Awesome. Okay. So somebody who wants to get into, let's say, forensics, for example. Yeah. Now the other ladies I spoke to uh, earlier, you know, they they are in they are doing VAPT and mm -hmm. auditing work or GRC work sort of thing. Right. Somebody. Is the maximum number of right. women work in auditing. And uh, let me tell you, this is my personal opinion okay. is that uh, I I am working with a few women mm -hmm. in GRC. They do a much better job than guys. They're more diligent. So it's nice to hear that from you. They they are much more diligent. Well, I am a big supporter of all the women around the place. Perfect. So in any case, so so let's take like so somebody wants to get into forensics. Yep. Where does he or she start? Starts with doing the basics. Really? Yeah. It's a decent enough foundation. I'm gonna cut that off. Okay. Do. That one reference I'm gonna cut off. Okay. So now we'll start again. Okay. So where does one start? Right. If one has one has to get into forensics, where does a woman start? The first thing they can do is get in touch with me. Uh -huh. I'll put them in touch with the number of courses that are available. And those are slightly higher end courses. Mm -hmm. I have also been writing a series of articles on the basics of forensics for six Mac. So those should be available online sometime soon. Mm -hmm. So, so are you ready for email again? Uh, it's more of a forensics related uh, yes. thing, right? Not Starting not something of basic ah. and then taking it to technical courses. So not not forensics for women type of courses. No, no, there is no <laughs> forensics for women. Yeah. No, so uh, maybe you could do an analysis of that too, you know, at times like Why not? Why, that would be maybe your your report compared to a ma to a to a male forensic guy's report and ah, now if the male and I came up with two contradictory forensic reports it would be a major legal problem. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, so to come back, like, uh, what sort of skills would a, would that lady need to have? See, like, you did, you did, you did for history, for example. Yes. How did it prepare you for forensics? How do you think it helped you? It's a very simple fact. History taught me how to analyze. Don't take anything at face value. Analyze it. Ask it a lot of questions until you are satisfied that your understanding is what the facts actually need you to do. Okay. So, and do you use any of your historical, uh, you know, background or any of your history knowledge when you write reports? It taught me how to write a little bit, yes. Yeah. Because, well, with history we need to write a lot, so yes, it did teach me how to write. Okay. But what it, primarily what it taught me was two things, analysis and patience. Analysis and patience. Okay. And forensics requires lots and lots of patience. Uh -huh. And what about tools? How do the tools help you if you have to do so much of analysis and patience by yourself? Tools will only help you for as much as the investigator can ask the tool for. Okay. That's the problem with the tools. The tools will work as tools. Mm -hmm. It depends on how good the sculpture is. Okay. Great. So, so you have a talk now over here? You're going to be giving a talk tomorrow over here? at the launch of Alice. That's a launch? Yes. Okay. okay. So, and what would be your theme tomorrow? Are you going to give a talk? It's going to be a very just, small event, just an introduction, just an introduction to us. Okay. And does, has the government given you any support on that? Are you asking for any support? We haven't yet gone up to the government stage, but mm -hmm. we've got a lot of support from Ground Zero and other conference organizers. What about Pune? That's your hometown. What about uh, maybe the Chamber of Commerce or the police or something over there? A little later. At this stage, we want to have enough heads that we can take it up to them and say that we've got the heads now. Mm -hmm. and we can now take it forward with further assistance. So your uh, commercial avatar is you and yourself, right? Yes. And what about this uh, community avatar? So how many have signed up? We've got oh, about 100 members now. They have signed up already. Yes. It's not a paid <coughs> community, it's free. Mm -hmm. We've got two criteria. You need to be female and you need to be interested in this. Now there is something over here because you wrote to me that I could be working with you. Yeah, yeah come on. So you don't want to do. So no, your no, daughter is no. more than welcome. You sent me a mail, right? Yes. Huh. So I asked you at that time, how can I be a member if I'm a guy? Which if you remember, I did not reply to. <laughs> 
So I had to fight, figure out a way of getting into the women. Yes, so you can have your daughter so join. This is this is like. More than happy. Yeah, this is like getting into a, you know one of those uh, lady sangi type of things. You know where. Ah, <laughs> no, nothing is bad. Look, as that. Look, look through yeah. closed doors. Uh, yes. And no, see what what you girls are doing inside over no there. We have no objections to men attending our sessions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do you plan to call men to give uh, you know to talk also? If they have the expertise we require, uh -huh. and we don't have it in house, then definitely. Okay. Great. So if and if India Watch gives you a platform, you know, sort of a webinar or something every yeah. month or. We'd be more than happy to do that. So you'd be happy to do that. So okay. And and uh, would you sort of you know career give career paths or. That Stuff is like that. part of what we plan to do. Mentoring is going to be a very Mentoring. major aspect of Amazon. And across... Uh, across India. Across, uh, across this India and across the info sector. So it could be VAPT or yes. this or that. Or We've got experts on VAPT, people who've been in the field for a long time. Yeah, right. We've got uh, lawyers on board, we've got CISOs on board. So we've got the expertise now. Okay, and uh, can you see your card again? Is, yes. is it pink? No, it's not Why pink. Why isn't it pink? Mainly because I don't like pink. <laughs> so why it would be stereotypical? I don't like pink. Yeah, good. This awisec dot dot org. Great. So all the women who are watching this, uh, go to the website. You yes, can register. You can, you can register something. over there, yes, right? Yes, you can register. There's no fee for joining. No, none at great. all. Great. So that's that's a great thing to happen, and uh, you can be sure about knowledge and yes. resources to be coming up. Right? In due course, but one, knowledge primarily right yeah. now. So one-on-one -on -one mentoring or somebody yes. wants help or whatever. Okay, great. And uh, will you be reaching out to the, the major uh, IT corporations also? Yes, or? we will. Okay. We've already got CISOs on board. Uh -huh. And we'll be using their assistance, their linkages. Yeah. And our own networks to get in touch. Awesome. Awesome. This is great. Yeah. Very good. So, of course, you have our support from India Thank Watch. You. Viewpoint. And uh, I will I will keep on interviewing women as I keep yes, meeting please. them. And please tell them about I will say. No, I will surely do that. Okay. And I will uh, we we have our website also and we okay. and even through the Honeynet project. Mm -hmm. So we'll put it out over there also. Okay, lovely. And wherever I can. That would be it. And uh, of course you have to put us on the mailing list. Yes, we will. Your daughter. Okay. I'll I'll uh, Forward the mail to myself. Okay. So what, just to know what, what you what, just what to know what you guys are doing. Yes, that's our choice. Just to know what you guys are doing. Go ahead. Okay. And no, we've got a mailing list which will we will be coming up with a newsletter, mm -hmm. which will obviously not be gender specific. Okay. No, so basically the whole idea is that okay by being interested in stuff, mm -hmm. uh, I I personally would really like to know what's happening, mm -hmm. and if I can contribute, I'll be very happy. We'd be more than happy for any kind of contribution. Also oh, great. And uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. And have a great one. You too. See you.